everybody. I'm Alec Lacasse. I'm a professional instructor of wood carving. I've been doing so for about uh, a decade, a little over actually, two years over a decade. And today I'm bringing you uh, a piece that is a little divergent from what we normally present on fundamentals of wood carving. But nonetheless, it's a presentation from FOW, or Fundamentals of Wood Carving. It's an online project that allows me to fund these projects that I make for free on YouTube. So if you're interested in learning more in-depth information about carving realistic faces, um, busts, uh, primarily focusing on uh, quarter size and half size portraiture, but also involving some relief carving projects, some flora projects, fauna, etc. Uh, please check that out in the link below. Otherwise, enjoy this free 15 minute sampling. Hey everybody, today, as you already know because you clicked on the thumb, this is our project, the distracted millennial snowman. Frosty the snowman had a very shiny phone. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's get into it. All right, now to start this project, I'm going to kind of indicate the size of the balls and uh, mark that with a pencil so I know where to start making cuts. Now, I'm going to make the first section, the kind of bottom section of his body, uh, the kind of base of him. It's the thickest part of him, about two inches. All right, so I can transfer that line around the entire thing by just kind of using my hand as I kind of stop. And these are just rough lines, right? As long as they connect up, we're in decent shape. Okay. Well, from the two inch mark, I'm gonna go up about an inch and a quarter. Okay. Inch and a quarter. Let's see. Yeah. So that's gonna be our middle ball, right? Gonna be slightly smaller than our lower ball, which of course I haven't drawn yet, so no worries. All right, we got our lower ball here. All right, so from that point up to the uh, top of the head, that's gonna be about an inch and three quarter. So it's kind of the remaining amount there. All right, and the rest of this might end up coming off, but uh, that's all right. So we'll just leave that mark. Let's try and connect this mark uh, to the rest of the piece. Again, using our little uh, finger technique. And those lines meet up pretty well. All right, so we've got the face of our carving, uh, our bottom ball, our middle ball, and then, of course, our top ball, which is going to be a little smaller. Um, we want his head to be tilted down, right? So let's just decide this is going to be the front of his head. The actual ball of his head, uh, we won't see the top of it, but it's going to be approximately an inch, right? Not a lot bigger than an inch. So we can mark that if it makes us feel better. And the hat is going to turn angle downward, like so. Okay, and it's going to come over the top of his head. Because we want his beady little eyes looking down at his iPhone, right? So we got his top hat, which we'll just draw a little box above it. Eh, it's probably about, I guess, a half inch. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Pretty good guess. All right, so we got his top hat, which is, will be black. And uh, it sits up on top of the brim there, which in total, I think the uh, hat itself is uh, yeah, just about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and five eighths. And uh, yeah, so the total height of the hat uh, coming off of the brim is about uh, an inch and uh, yeah, actually just about an inch from the bottom of the brim to the top of that uh, corner. And so we want to leave ourselves a little extra room. So I might make this hat a little taller because again, it's a top hat. And uh, so I might extend it. So it's about an inch and uh, an eighth in total height from here to here. Okay, that's that. So we can start the process of making stop cuts. Um, so the first stop cut I make is just to uh, differentiate the uh, middle ball from the uh, baseball there. So I'm gonna use my V cut. V cut is just a stop cut that I make with two equal angles that come and meet, right? So I've done that like so. I do the same opposing cut. I just start to make 
these two meeting cuts, right? And I'm using the uh, force of both my left and my right hand. So my right hand is my dominant hand, yeah, right-handed. And my left hand is going to be also pushing on the knife blade like so, right? And that's going to give me a mechanical advantage. So I'm going to continue to make these cuts all the way around the piece. Before I get too crazy with this, I want to think about the uh, backside of him. The one kind of shape that's going to vary uh, from the uh, roundness of his, uh, of his body is his uh, little scarf. We want to make his scarf out of the same piece of wood, although that adds an extra added level of challenge. Uh, it's definitely worth the, uh, the endeavor. So I'm just going to transfer my drawing of the balls at the top here, right the uh, other side, the back side. This is a side view. I'm going to use my ruler to give you uh, a measurement of the width of this guy. Uh, this middle ball is about an inch and a half, so we'll just fact check ourselves. Looks good there, about an inch and a half. And our top ball, let's see, I think we said that was about an inch, right? Yeah. Of course, we know it's a circle, so uh, it might be a little bit squished. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be <laughs> the same height generally as it is wide, right? Because that's the way a circle is. <laughs> Uh, all right, so then our hat, well, we've got the scarf coming down. It's going to come just above the meeting point of our two circles, right? The head and the midsection. All right, so my point here is I want to leave a little bit of material on the uh, side of him so that this guy can just come down just past that second ball. So uh, what is that in total length? Probably uh, just about an inch and three quarters by, I'm going to say about a half an inch. So keep that in mind when you're making those stop cuts. I'm going to keep going around. Just begin separating out these uh, sections. And just make that V cut in between each section as we go across and around. Anyway, continuing on, I'm going to make that stop cut on all four corners of the top ball as well. Now, anytime you're working in the round with the carving, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit more work than doing just a little flat piece where you've got you know, visibility from one side. So keep that in mind. All right. If you wanted to get uh, kind of tricky on the bandsaw, you could have made this uh, tapered so that part of this angles in here and here, and it gets a little smaller as it gets to the top. But uh, we're just trying to do uh, as much as we can with the simplest piece of wood. Uh, most people have access to a two by two. You can order one online. Uh, and so cut it into lengths with a handsaw. That being said, <clears throat> we're gonna stick to this, all right? So we've got our little, um, at least in our heads, we've got the idea of the a scarf and the head and uh, we don't want to take too much out of the top but we do want to start to pare it down I'm gonna start with the uh, with the top here and start paring this this guy down get rid of the major material off the top but leaving enough room for the hat we'll, we'll show you how that works here and we might lose part of our drawing but that's okay right not the end of the world we can take the edges off of this guy as well. Okay, this is where a nice sharp knife comes in handy. Well, the entire piece is uh, <laughs> dependent on a sharp knife, that's for sure. So if your material is uh, really hard or your, your knife is too dull, it's going to make uh, the project a lot more challenging. So take these edges off. Because we're kind of digging in the hands here. Just take in the corners. Like so all right. Getting the heads 
very nice. All right, Eden. So now I'm going to take it a knife, continue these little indentations all the way through a piece of wood, kind of connecting these little V cuts that I made. And remembering that uh, you're gonna have this. And if you want, you can kind of outline the uh, scarf early on just to make sure that you remember it's there and you don't carve it into the shape of, a, of two separate balls without remembering it. And I'll give it lots of extra length just in case. I can always shorten it up later. Okay, and if you want, you can even kind of come in and create your little stop cut there for now. That way, it's safe. You know it's gonna be there when you need it. Okay, that's fine with me. Beautiful. All righty then. Cool. Let's carry on carrying on. Now the, uh, the thought here is to be able to set this on a surface, right? It's gonna be able to stand up on its own, uh, but really it could be used as a Christmas ornament. You could shrink this little thing down and make, uh, you know, maybe a lighter piece for your ornaments or, or your, maybe as a gift for somebody who likes the smaller form factors. But I like the size of this one. It's, uh, it's a little more work, you're removing a little more material. Now, really, it's kind of fun. You're really uh, getting practice on uh, removing edges and uh, just getting getting the idea how to kind of work your tool. And so, therefore, this to me is a really great beginner project. So I'm just starting to round things out a little bit, just trying to get rid of some of that uh, boxiness. So taking the big corners off here, and you know. You can leave, actually, there's a stylistic approach to this that is uh, kind of seems lazy, but it's actually kind of neat leaving some of the boxiness in the snowman. And uh, we'll play with that. We'll see how much of it we leave in. But uh, it's not always a bad idea to leave some of the boxiness in. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. Kind of a different style. I've seen it done. I've seen it done well. So I'm just kind of making these V cuts, these stop and relief cuts here with the knife. <clears throat> All right, connecting them. Okay, nice. Starting to get some shape there. All right, now the top of his head is uh, gonna be, uh, at least his hat's gonna be tilted down. So I'm gonna carve the flat of his hat right here. So I'm carving the front face, which is here. Just mark this as front, so we're sure of it. And so his hat will be kind of down here, right? We'll, we'll see the rim of it. And we would like that because his his little face, his beady eyes, he's looking down at his phone, which is hilarious. So this is kind of the idea, right? So they'll have the top of his hat here and it'll come back. All right, so this is what we're after. So I'll take some material away from the sides of the hat right here. And I'm making some big cuts. Uh, you can really slow yourself down and not remove as much. Okay. <clears throat> Just continuing on. 
making these grooves. going to narrow his uh, his kind of top ball and then his medium ball here in the middle as well. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little taste of fundamentals of wood carving. If you're interested in checking out the school, we appreciate the support. It's what allows us to, of course, pay for uh, the videos that we produce for YouTube. Uh, the free instructional videos that I produce on a weekly basis uh, come from the uh, fundamentals of wood carving school, uh, from the funding, that is, of the, of the wood carving school. So please check that out in the link below. We always appreciate your support. Thanks again. Talk to you guys. Mm -hmm.